for forging them. Intermediate symbols, signs of Horus and Lucifer. Uh, so you see Lady Gaga here, two symbols. The common OK sign, we'll get into that after, but we're going to start with this one. The sign of silence, we say shh usually. And it's called the sign of silence. It means secret or be quiet. Uh, this is Isis, Osiris, Horus, the, the Egyptian trinity. There is Horus with a finger to the mouth. You see Horus is distinguished with this uh, headpiece to the side. I'll show you Horus doing another variant. Sign of silence more commonly this way, this way, or this way. You see other uh, uh, different culture. Uh, same God, uh, you see here, two-finger version, different God. Now, Harpocrates is the Greek version of Horus. Harpocrates, the God of Silence. Harpocrates or Horus, uh, God of Silence. Harpo Marx was a, an actor that didn't speak, so he's doing the sign of silence there. Harpo, Harpo Studios, Harpocrates. Oprah backwards, Oprah, Harpo forwards, clever, <laughs> clever, I say she's a new age guru uh, at this point, and so she's following Satan, um, and the way that they do the, the things, here is secret, uh, master degree, so it's a sign of secrecy, here is the journal, the Masonic Society, and you see the sign of silence. <laughs> Harpocrates here. There is a uh, Oklahoma um, uh, uh, sculpture in, in an Oklahoma uh, Masonic lodge. You see the tarot card here, the Aeon. You see the hot god Horus there, and as well as Horus in human form. You see that headpiece coming down, and then you see the finger to the mouth sign of silence. Secret societies like uh, Aleister Crowley's using the sign of silence as is Wicca, witchcraft, and here is a water sign, down triangle. Uh, if you saw uh, Michelle Obama go speak at a women's college, their logo is a down triangle, representing the water aspect, female, earth. So you have elements uh, in the mix there. So, uh, uh, And then uh, you have... Uh, uh, Order of the Alumbrados or Illuminati, and then uh, Illuminati stems from Jesuitism, which is Catholicism, and we'll we'll get into that later. Saint Ignatius, who was the first Jesuit general, so you see the sign of silence. Here's Rosicrucianism, another uh, 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 secret society, and uh, sign of silence for that priest or druid. This is uh, Mercury in the West doing the sign of silence. Uh, and then this is interesting here, this image where you have the uh, intellectuals uh, throughout history and then culminating into the elite of today, uh, all under Horus. There's Mercury. Um, they even have uh, depictions of Jesus with a guy doing the sign of silence. This is called silence, uh, it, the sculpture itself. So you have two hawks and then you have the baby Horus there and I'm just going to show you whether or not they're doing it's a very common symbol uh, now Winston Churchill Churchill was a former prime minister of Great Britain a mason and a druid priest doing the sign of silence he's doing this version so that looks more obvious now if you see it in context closing the eye sign of silence just like Lady Gaga was doing you see the uh, OK sign in the eye sign of silence Two symbols. Here is the sh by um, tattooed by on Rihanna, as well as Lindsay Lohan got the same tattoo, and Lily Allen got the same tattoo as well. And so you see them all doing this. Here's the devil sign. Silence there. Here's Michael Jackson again in the studio. There's a two finger version. Johnny Depp, and you saw David Bowie, lightning bolt in the eye. He's doing the sign of silence here. There, we know in context that they're doing it 
on purpose because they do more than just that sign. And so a lot of people will say, oh, that's, you just caught them doing that. Well, you see here, pointing at the eye, doing the sign of silence. Blink 182, doing the sign of silence with the finger on the other side. And then you see here, the she uh, did was featured on a band called Fun. They won a Grammy this year. Uh, closing the eye, sign of silence. I with a sign of silence. And then you have uh, Carmen or this Electra here, devil sign, sign of silence. Adam Lambert, Alistair Crowley t shirt, sign of silence. It is more than that. Ayumi Hamasaki, one of the major stars in Japan. I, sign of silence, closing the eye. Darwin. This is the whole image right here with Darwin in the corner doing the sign of silence. You will understand where that doctrine has come from, the doctrine of evolution or the religion of evolution. Hard to get people to, to, to uh, get past that one. So here is now the, the uh, uh, OK sign. When we say OK, sometimes in the West we say, yeah, sure, OK. So we close the eye by blinking, and then sometimes we also say A, OK. A is the pyramid with the capstone. It's their symbols on us. I'm not saying if you go scuba diving, you can't use the, the OK sign. And I'm not saying that you can't use it, OK? But see that it is their symbol taught to us. We never even knew what it was. But this is the triple six sign, and it's become known as the triple six now more recently. Three sixes in here, and you're going to see uh, what they've done with this. So here it is, the Eye of Horus, triple six. Pretty obvious. So these are two signs of Horus or Lucifer or the Antichrist. Now, like I said, what in the world is another quote artist doing putting this on the cover of an album cover? It's it's puppetry, that's all it is. This is a joke to me. I can't even believe it. Now this is also a mudra, and this mudra means wisdom. It just so happens that in the Garden of Eden, when the serpent promised us our eyes will be open and we shall be as gods knowing good and evil he taught us and promised us wisdom which was the lie and it just happens to be a buddhist mudra uh, of wisdom and they even equate the serpent to wisdom so we'll see that later should be really obvious to us i pray that you guys some of you guys that just come here you can get equipped and you can preach the gospel uh, boldly to anyone. And so anyway here, this is very key, Novus Ordo Seclorum. You saw that on the back of the dollar bill. There's the eye in the triangle. This is a fashion uh, uh, shoot. Here's the lightning bolts. Anunnaki, those refer to the Sumerian gods, those who from heaven came. The only ones that those from heaven came are the fallen angels. So this is the religion of the fallen angels they're showing you, including the triangle. You see how they do that, the triple six on both sides. And then look at Bono. You think he's a Christian? Man. Look at the young Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jared Leto, 30 Seconds to Mars, Luke Fiasco, Drake, saluting Satan, militarily saluting Satan. Harry Potter, Tyra Banks, Jesse J. She did the closing ceremony, uh, was in the closing ceremony of the Olympics, Black Eyed Peas. And for two years in a row, they ran this commercial, which is uh, LL Cool J in the CBS I with the 666. Six. Now, now you know if you're from this generation, that John Lennon was doing the devil sign 
and Paul McCartney was doing the double side as well. Or okay, Lucifer is okay, or the devil's okay. Oh, man. You can see here he's showing you the triple six, along with the Pope doing this, and you'll see the Pope later doing that as well. So he's deliberately showing the Pope doing that. Kind of interesting. And then so I'm going to move along. All genres doing it, double sign, triple six. Here's that chump, Chris Brown. Everybody sees this uh, diamond uh uh, coming around too, Diamond Company, what have you. That represents the elite or enlightenment, and we'll see that later in the second part, or the enlightened elite. There was an album called Gems by Aerosmith. had five diamonds in there, if you're from that generation. Okay, so just moving along. Any other way to do it? You see the triple six, how they do it that way. Uh, look at that. I just can't even. I mean, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> you got to take every picture with a triple six. Huh? Seriously, I mean, this is a joke. <laughs> look at this. I mean, I look at this stuff now and just got just it's laughable what is going on. There's that band Paramore. Paramore. This is uh, My Chemical Romance, another dialectic happening. Whether or not you sympathize with the Catholic Church or he is a Catholic, so uh, you choose. Lucifer Loves You. That's a uh, Gap commercial. Here's uh, Dolce and Gabbana. Here's the Pope. And here's LeBron James doing the triangle, Roca sign with the triple six, and then throwing the uh, chalk up. Uh, he, he got his number is six now, and Satan has rewarded him with a uh, championship. Big deal. You've got the, um, and he does the devil's sign as well. There's more. He's wearing Illuminati t shirts as well. So that's going to be in the uh, the uh, second, uh, the fourth version of this. But look at everybody. Here's the dancers, just everybody, just following. And here's Korea. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. How much more serious can the word be than to just look at it plainly and how we've taken it for granted that nothing in this world is to be loved or admired. Um, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. This is key because you're going to see church members, pastors, being friends with the world. And I want you guys to understand that we got to pick them out and know what they are and call them out for what they're doing. And, and you're going to be, like I said, most people that haven't seen, they're going to be shocked by what you see uh, here. And 